so far we have looked at object charged but what is the name of this object charged the name is conductors now conductors can be charged with either a q positive q or negative q charge that's how we call that's how we name the charge positive if it's a positive charge of course and negative if it's a negative charge but let's look at conductors a little bit better conductors actually do not hold the charge inside of it they actually have all the charge all along the perimeter or the surface area of them so the inside can be thought as empty this inside is actually empty and there's nothing inside here well even though it's not a spherical shell the inside is usually not charged as all the particle uh, as all the charged particles will move toward the outside now what does this mean well there is a few things that this means it means that the, on the inside since the charge oops, um, so on the inside since we said there is no charge we know that the electric field which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r squared in our direction since q is equal to 0 on the inside we can see the electric field will be 0 on the inside and this also means that since the gradient of the electric field is equal to the draw epsilon naught since we know that e electric field is equal to zero then raw is also equal to zero that's that means that that's a direct consequence of the electric field being zero now one other thing that we have to look at it is are these particles moving well they are actually not moving and we can see that actually the electric field produced by it's perpendicular to the surface. And how does this relate? Well, let's imagine a flat piece charged, in this case, positively charged. And we have an electric field that, or a force that is the same and it's pushing down, in that case, perpendicularly. That means that all the charges will just have a force pushing them down, not around. If instead we had something different and they were not directly down, for example, we had something like this, then all the charges would tend to move closer to the center, as you can see. And then all of them would be moving around. If, for example, we had an electric field pushing toward the right, then all the charges would be pushed toward the right a little bit too. So all these charges would move and would keep moving toward the right. But this doesn't actually happen. So the electric field will always be perpendicular to the surface. And that means that if it's perpendicular to the surface, then the charges are not moving. 